Ten top things since we've changed since we were 11. Ten, we can drive. Nine, we go to high school. Eight, we're into photography. Seven, we, go, we like a lot of different kinds of music. Six, we like to go shopping a lot. Five, we have a job. Four, we like to go on the internet a lot. Three, we like to talk on the phone. Two, we're in school. One, we talk a lot more. Perhaps most noteworthy about their top ten lists of interests is how typical it is for their age. Being conjoined has presented astonishingly few obstacles to leading a normal life. That is not to say there haven't been challenges. School presented a number of questions. Do they turn in one assignment or two? How do they take tests? Do they both like the same classes? Ew, that's so gross. I don't even want to touch it. Abby likes math a lot better. Uh, Brittany would rather write something. Abby wants me to explain everything. Brittany just wants the quick answer in math. Okay. Close 32. 32. I have 7B plus 4C, 7B minus 4C. Barbara Hoback teaches the girls math and English and has witnessed Abby and Brittany's ability to negotiate and balance each other's desires firsthand. One day, Abby decided she wanted to sit in the back of the room. And, of course, Brittany said, fine. But they found out that they couldn't see the overhead because whichever way Abby would lean to see around the person in front would cause an obstacle for Brittany. So they went through about three or four days of trying different seats and arguing about where to sit before they settled on the front row. What is that? Oh, it's all gum. Just trying to make it feel better. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. One place they don't have issues and don't argue about where to sit is at the lunch table. Abby and Brittany have a place next to their friends every day where they engage in the usual lunchtime gossip. So guess what? I'm having a party for my graduation and you're invited. Oh, okay. Thanks. I think when they're the happiest is when they they have their friends. Over. Yeah, any time that they're involved with their friends makes them happy. Soccer, one and three. We're getting them. We're getting them. We're getting them. We're like running for practice. Oh, no, we don't want to run. Coffee, yeah. After lunch, it's time for Brittany's favorite class, American Lit. Luckily, the teacher, Mr. Boziki, is both of their favorites. Mr. Boziki turns 60! Mr. Boziki turns 60! Have a seat one more time. I understand you're a little rowdy. Don't be. You're only goofy sophomores. You have plenty of time to be obnoxious, right, seniors? Right. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Did you read it? Okay, they are very, very different. Abby is, uh, I, I would say, a little more outgoing. I really appreciate her assertiveness and her demand to know more and to, to ask more questions. Mr. Wazicki? Rachel. For the murder accounts? Or, I mean, the rape accounts? Is it just how they described them? Yeah. So how Mayella described it and how... I find myself probably joking with her more a little bit. He's so old, he's going senile. She's taking her quiz. Go. <laughs> with Brittany, I think she's a little more quiet, a little more reserved, thinks through some things, uh, maybe not quite as, as, as assertive, certainly more contemplative. 